Halloween is a free pass for kids to gobble up sweets by the bag full. And that includes the quintessential Halloween treat, candy corn. At the Bronx factory in Chattanooga, Tennessee, workers produce two billion kernels of candy corn every year. We make about 50,000 pounds of candy corn a day. That's about 12.6 million pieces of candy corn. Candy corn was invented in the 1880s, and its tricolor design was considered revolutionary. It was originally made by hand in small batches. But the cooking process is now fully mechanized. The entire kitchen is computer controlled, and in that system, it controls each step of the process. This is the first stage in the cooking process. Uh, it's where we blend the sugar and the corn syrup. The Mazetta cooking process is next. This technique turns candy corn's liquid base into a fluffy solid. There we bring together ingredients like sugar and gelatin. With those with air, it creates sort of a meringue, and that meringue is what gives the candy corn its body and its structure. Next, candy makers combine the mixture with fondant, a firm sugar-based icing. Then workers add color to create candy corn's signature orange and yellow layers. The kernels begin to take shape through a cornstarch molding process. The cornstarch molding machine fills trays of 1,260 individual candy corn molds with cornstarch. A conveyor moves each tray under a board of kernel-shaped air nozzles. The nozzles knock away excess cornstarch and leave only a thin layer in each mold. A series of three pumps then injects each individual mold with layers of white, orange, and yellow liquid candy. A conveyor then loads the trays into stacks. The liquid kernels cure for 24 hours. They're then polished, and the finished candy corn is sent off to packaging, all of which translates into lots of sugar-high trick-or-treaters. Okay, honey. Treats are 